Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Mimi. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm Joel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Gavin. I'm Matt. I'm Daniel. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. Hey, ghost. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. We have been off to a great start on this very cool morning. The high today is not even getting out of the 60s, which is pretty crazy with the warmer weather that we've experienced this year. Now today is going to be an interesting one for sure, not just because of the cooler weather. But before I can explain why it's going to be so interesting today, I need to show you what we were working on yesterday. Hey everyone, I normally don't film today, but we've got quite a bit going on. We have had a pretty busy day all together. Uh, just running around taking care of all different types of jobs. We just got stocked up here in the farm market with our beef So now the cooler is completely or I should say the freezer is completely full and the stuff that we had extra that wouldn't fit in the freezer Well, I'm taking that down around back and putting it in another freezer. We got a lot of stuff picked for orders We harvested potatoes today. They look really good. We didn't have much of Daniel or Petey around with us They've been taking care of the hay. We had quite a bit mown down matter of fact in the last video that we made you didn't see much of Daniel because he was working on the hay all day so this is where Matthew has been for a while what have you been up to uh, sorting green tomatoes because when they're green you don't always know if they're gonna ripen into a number one that we can sell on the farm market or if they're just gonna be a canning tomato so now that they're starting to ripen up a little bit we're sorting them, we're sorting them. When we harvest tomatoes, we wash them right away. You've seen that. And then we'll sort them from pinks to ripes. Uh, a lot of the pinks or the tomatoes that aren't completely ripe yet will go down here in the storage area. They will ripen up and then once it gets time to sort them again, uh, if there are any tomatoes that aren't completely ripe, they stay down here, but the rest of the tomatoes go up top. And Matthew is basically doing quality control. The nicer tomatoes, the number ones we will take up and they will be charged for a little more price. But the other tomatoes, the canners, those are a little cheaper, but they can have imperfections. And I mentioned we got potatoes harvested today. Check out these potatoes. Ooh, thinking about french fries. Ooh, -hoo. that's a good french fry right there. Nice and long. It's a little too far for all of you to see, but up on the hill, I see quite a few round bales. Daniel has been busy. I've already done a lot of harvesting today, but there's still a few things that we need to pick. We do need some stuff for the farm market, but mostly this is to fill orders. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to grab the camera is because the farm market has been insane. Like it's been super, super busy today, which on a Wednesday usually isn't a problem. It's actually so busy that only Matthew and I are going out to pick right now. It is getting later on into the day and we're not too far off from closing time, but uh, yeah, we still have quite a bit that needs to be harvested. Matthew and I have now made it out to the fields and the first thing we're gonna be harvesting is Cubanelle peppers. Our first planting of Cubanelles has not been that great. Sadly, more than half of the planting has been underwater and a lot of the peppers have rotted. But this is a good opportunity to show why plantings are so important. This is our second planting that we had transplanted out into the field and these peppers are not dealing with the mold that the first planting of peppers is. So we're happily harvesting these so that we can sell them back at the farm market. Yeah, I'm finding some. I got about half a bag. Ooh, good. I just got my basket of Cubanelles all picked. Matthew is finishing off his. Before we move on to the next job, I wanted to show you what we had planted over here. Some big old pumpkins. Pretty cool. I'd say we got about 20, 30 large pumpkins here. I think the pumpkins we have here are like third or fourth generation. Um, 
we've been saving them every year just because it's a little cheaper and it's fun to do. So a big job we've been waiting to do all day uh, just because we don't have enough help because everybody's been running around doing different jobs is harvesting sweet corn, which uh, Daniel just caught up to Petey with the baler. Petey is raking, uh, Daniel was baling. So Daniel is coming home and we're gonna go get the sweet corn. That way Petey can get further ahead of him. And this is just a good opportunity for all of us to get a big job done. Uh, we're gonna leave the wagon here for now because we're gonna have to come out and pick more stuff later. But now we can head out and get that sweet corn. Back home with the side by side and we're actually not taking it over to harvest sweet corn. We already had a bin loaded onto the truck. Matthew's taking the 130. And uh, yeah, we got a picking crew. So we're gonna go get started. Started. We've already made quite a bit of progress on this field. It is a pretty large field of sweet corn, but I'd say we're about ah, halfway on it. There is still a ton of sweet corn here that needs to be picked, which is a good thing for us. Now this evening we are looking for two bins of sweet corn. We need a bin of sweet corn for an order. That's gonna be 600 ears. And then we also need a bin for the farm. Now our first bin is gonna be the bin that we count. So there ain't gonna be much talking because I better not lose track. bin is now all finished that was the bin we had to count those are always the hardest because you know you only have so many fingers and toes the next bin is going to be for us we just had someone show up at the farm and take 200 ears so that's the kind of day it's been a lot of people have been picking up sweet corn and a lot of people have been picking up other produce oh my goodness <laughs> Walk that off yeah, Trey Turner walk off double. I mean, walk off single. There's like a little river that went down through here when it rained really hard. This is a part of that wet spot. Down further in the field, there's like a swamp. I can see it from here. Not only did all the water run down through this little area, but in this farm, there's actually springs all over the place. So this whole thing right here is a spring that's just bubbling out of the ground. And down a little further, because the sweet corn looks really nice right here, uh, there's more springs and there's the line where the water goes through. It's amazing how some areas on a farm will have perfect soil and then how some areas you just can't plant in, like those wet spots. Well, everyone, I don't think we're gonna fit any more corn on that bin without it falling off. So that's where we're gonna be stopping today. We're gonna bend over our stocks so we know where to start next time. And we're gonna get all this sweet corn taken home. We're back with the sweet corn. We just got the first bin pulled in. We still have one more on the truck and it's a little past closing time here. So we've also got to get all this stuff moved into the cooler. It was a day here on the farm, let me tell you. Ooh, and it's not done yet. We still have some picking to do. The next thing that we're gonna be picking this evening is beans. I think we need mostly green beans, but we might be picking a few others. The green beans that we've been harvesting have been really popular, probably because they taste so good. Mm, there are some good beans. Got it.
we're doing yellow. We were able to get three heaping full bushels of Italian flat beans and two bushels of yellow beans. Now all we need is some green beans, which shouldn't be too difficult because the green beans have looked really good. Now, if this is your first time here and you've never seen how this machine works, I'll explain it very quickly. As my dad pulls the picker along, he's trying to get the beans right into that opening right there. Those guides help pull the beans inside. There is a wheel with fingers in here that spins and strips the plants of all the beans and all the leaves. The leaves then follow the conveyor up into our fan. Our fan sucks out all the debris and the beans stay on this conveyor. The beans then continuously follow the conveyor up to the top and drop down through our hopper, which I control. So after one is full, I can switch it to the other side and vice versa. It makes it a little easier on the guy riding on the back. All finished with harvesting the beans we got four bushel of green we got three bushel of flat two bushel of yellow well technically five bushel of green i forgot to count the order now while dad and i have been harvesting the beans matthew went back and he got the cucumbers and i'm not sure if he got the cabbage as well so after we're done with this we'll have to check and see what matt's up to beans are offloaded from the truck so we just have to move these inside and then we are done. Well, everyone, since work is done for the day, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Let me tell you, we did get a lot accomplished yesterday. But uh, yeah, there's a good reason for that. First off, one of the biggest reasons why we had to get so much accomplished is because we had a lot of orders to take care of. But then probably the biggest reason why we needed to work so hard yesterday was because we're missing a few people. I was not here early this morning because I had to run and do some errands, which are now all taken care of. Matthew is not here. He had to run to the auction and pick up some produce that we needed for the farm market. And my dad had a surprise meeting that he knew nothing about. And uh, yeah, he needed to go to it. But since I just got home, I'm driving out to the fields to find out where the boys are. Well, I thought the boys were out here. I just gave Daniel a call. Apparently we drove past each other at some point. But anyway, they had a cabbage order they needed to take care of. So now they are back at the farm market putting the order together. And they are gonna need my help when it comes to tomatoes, but I have to show you why they need my help. Before dad's meeting this morning, he got out here a little earlier on and got some tomatoes harvested. From what we've seen with the tomatoes over the past few weeks, uh, there's gonna be a lot of tomatoes here to pick. And now that they're starting to ripen up, oh, it's a lot of fun. But I'm gonna take the quad back to the farm market and I'm gonna ride back out with them on the side-by-side -side so I can help hold the baskets as we drive home with them. I just found the boys. How's the morning been going? We picked the perfect amount of red cabbage. 60.01 pounds. These boys are impressive. That'll call us the veggie boys for nothing. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Hey! Whoever's in the back seat has to hook up the wagon. A little bit, a little bit. Tomatoes have all been loaded onto the wagon. So we're gonna take these home, run them through the washer and sort them.
tomatoes have now all been washed and we've separated all of them. So we do have a few baskets of canners for the customers. The boys are gonna take the tomatoes up top and get them unloaded. I have a few extras that I'm gonna drop off for the cattle. When you're harvesting tomatoes, sometimes you don't see all the imperfections and sometimes the washer will bring those out for us. So we just take, all, yeah, our buddy's excited. So we just take all the extra tomatoes over here for the cattle. Canning tomatoes have now been completely filled up. We don't have any plum out here, this is all round. Now we are selling the half bushels for $14 a basket. Uh, the boxes that we have, it basically fills them up completely. Now these half bushels, these aren't individual tomatoes. People just don't take tomatoes off of here. We sell the individual tomatoes inside. So all of this stuff is for canning. We do the round and plum for canning. Uh, these tomatoes, they will have small imperfections, but they're for canning. They're gonna be blended up. They're gonna be sliced up. That is okay. And because these tomatoes can have imperfections, you get a cheaper price because if these were sold by the pound, the baskets would be much more expensive. Now we just got in for lunch and Grammy is not here today. So mama was making lunch for us. We've got all different types of stuff. We got fresh fruit and veggies. We got some hot dogs. We got some pizza here. There, there's just a smorgasbord, and there's pickles. Everybody loves pickles. And there's chicken in the oven. So, Callie, how have you been today? Oh, oh, she's got a plate. She's ready for lunch. We got all finished with lunch, and now we're working on getting everything set up for harvesting peppers. The boys had already went back there, and I'm just grabbing the wag. Well, we knew it was gonna happen today, but we didn't expect it to be this soon. It is now raining here on the farm. Long hots are just about finished. We do need some hot cherry. Uh, we had planned on getting them picked tomorrow, but since we're out here, we might as well pick them. So I don't know, Gavin, how do you feel about picking in the rain? I love it, I love the rain. There you go. That's been uh, picking news from Gavin. Hey, Joel, I just wanted you to know, it's raining harder now. Oh yeah, it is, look at that. Hot cherry peppers have been looking really good. And we've had a few mature to the point where they started turning red. We weren't sure how these peppers would look once they start to change color. Uh, they're beautiful. That's just the way these hot cherry peppers are this year. They are all beautiful. Now this particular plant didn't break. It just fell over. So this one is still alive, which is a good thing. There are some smaller peppers on this plant, but there's also a lot of large peppers. Now the reality with farming is this, the more work you put in, the more you get out. So that's the same with fertilizing your crops, weeding, taking care of everything. Um, and that's just what we're trying to do here. If we can get these picked off, I mean, they look so nice, they should be picked anyway. But if we can get these picked off and sold, we'll be able to get more harvest in. And we'll be able to help the people in our area get all the peppers that they need. I just worry about the people that are stuffing these peppers because you're gonna need a lot. This one has a nose. That's so cool. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Pepper's like stuck in the middle of the plant barely get it out. Got it. 
Oh boy, there's a big one. Woo, check out that, Gavin. Nice. Oh, this pepper's bad. This is turning into a pretty nice looking wagon. Joel had to leave because we have a feed delivery that showed up at home. And there was also someone who came to pick up an order. So Joel wasn't able to finish peppers with us. But now that we're all finished with the wagon, we're gonna head back to the farm. Well, everyone, the rest of the day was cold, wet, and rainy. We got the farm market all closed up, and that was about it. I am now home, and for dinner tonight, we are having chicken noodle soup, which I think is perfect for how cool it's been today. But since we're home, you guys know what that means. This is where we're gonna end the video. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Buh bye bye